What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in with me today again. As you guys can see, I have my mower on my ramps. So I'm going to show you guys how I change my mower blades real quick. Um, I see a lot of guys out there that use a jack and that seems okay. It seems like uh, you have to use a lot of force to get your mower jacked up. I see some guys out there with a jack that you literally have to crank the front up of your mower um, and it takes like five or so minutes to get that mower cranked all the way up. So this is the best way that I have found to get my mower off the ground. It's just some automotive um, ramps and you can get right under there. Last year I was changing my mower blade just with a three quarter inch socket wrench. Um, this year I have my new Makita socket drill. Um, three quarter inch head does a great job so i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to get under my mower with the makita um socket wrench all right so my deck is pretty dirty and just like that it comes right out the last couple years i was using a socket wrench but let me tell you what this makita drill socket wrench drill does a great job it gets me in and out real quick. I can change my blades, just pull right up on here, use my Makita drill, and I'm done with probably in about two minutes at the most. Um, very simple, very convenient, and very easy to use. Right, so I got my mower blades off. I'm gonna show you how fast I can put my mower blades on with my Makita drill. Um, it took with the socket wrench, probably about 10 to 15 minutes to get all of them, all three blades on and off. Um, it's not horrible. It's just not ideal when you're replacing your blades every day or even every other day like I am. Um, so I'm gonna show you how fast I can put my blades on and my kids are out here helping me today. So, all right, let's go. All right guys, very, very simple. The Makita drill, the wrench tool is a very, very nice tool to use. I would definitely not recommend a hammer drill. Um, the hammer drill, it does have a hammering effect and you can, I guess, use it for that purpose to put um, bolts and stuff on and take your blades and stuff off. But it, that's not what it's intended for. You're gonna have more torque, a lot more torque with your wrench tool. So, I mean, this drill is not very expensive. It's, I believe it was like $145 on sale. And I believe I got it at the Home Depot. Um, I wanted the Makita brand. Um, so this drill has saved me a whole bunch of time. Um, like I said, if you do wanna take your blades off, you can definitely do it with a socket wrench, but you're gonna be wasting so much time. Um, this tool is definitely a very good investment. It has um, saved me a whole bunch of time. The battery on this thing lasts a long, long time. I've had this um, probably about a month and this is, I've probably used it for about uh, two weeks straight now and I've only charged it once in that time. And it, it needs charge right now, but you can get just doing blades of probably a good two weeks out of it before you need to need to even think about recharging which is amazing I would, this battery is very impressive for uh this drill so 
I hope that helped you guys. I definitely would recommend the Makita drill um, in taking off mower blades. If you want to take off car blades as well, this is a great tool. Um, I've talked to one of my buddies is a mechanic, is, owns his own shop. He recommends uh, the Milwaukee drill. Milwaukee makes a sim similar drill to this, except it's probably about double the size as this and has a lot more torque. Um, so if you're doing car stuff or commercial stuff like that, I would recommend the Milwaukee. But if you're just doing mower blades and on your home, on your vehicle, I would definitely recommend recommend the Makita. Um, great drill, great brand, one of the best brands out there. Thanks for checking out my videos today, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I haven't been doing too many videos lately because I've been going nonstop with lawn care over here in Michigan. We've been going crazy. Uh, my phone is ringing nonstop. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, things start to settle down a little bit. And my schedule gets a little bit better and I finally get caught up with my lawn. So I can definitely get some footage of me mowing and using all my equipment. So, all right, guys, like I said, thanks for checking in. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.